creating 3D models. Working hours and hours on sculpting the perfect 3D model. Yeah, that was in the past. But what if I told you that nowadays you can create a 3D out of any image within just a few seconds? Sounds too good to be true? Well, let me take you on a new AI journey. In this video, I'll show you how you can create these 3D models and how you can edit them. And all you're going to do is to use the images. After that, I'll show you how you can edit and use the same model in a 3D editing software. So let's go to the hug and face link. I'll leave it here for you so you can just pause the video and rewrite description as well. So this tool is called Dream Gaussian, as you can see right here. Generative Gaussian splatting for efficient 3D content creation. Despite the name, it's really easy to use. Just drag and drop the image in this box here. And then all you got to do is to click on Generate 3D. But for starters, let's just use one of these examples. One of these images right here. Let's just take this, for example. Now, we'll just have to wait a few seconds. This also really depends on how many people are using it at the same time. And it'll generate two 3D models. The first model is a bit rougher. And the second model is a bit more refined. So, our first model, as you can see, it is ready. And this one down there, it is actually more refined. Yeah, it has a little bit more detail. So basically, this is all that this tool does. If you want to download these, just click on this button and you will get a GLB file, as you can see. Now, these GLB files you can open in Windows. But to be honest, I doubt that you can edit. So you can use real 3D editing software for that. Maybe you already got it on your computer. Now, you've probably heard about this software. It is called Blender. Everyone has been using it. It's free to use and it's got a lot of things that you can do with and it can open those GLB files effortlessly. All you gotta do is to click on the download button here. Then just install this on your computer. And then when it's opened, as you can see this box, we don't need it so I will delete it. Now, what do you gotta do? Click on the file here, then go down to the import and then go and choose this, as you can see, .glb files. And voila, this girl, this little doll, is inside of my blender. It's really cool, right? Yeah, it looks really cool. This is the good model. When we click on the modeling tab, which is located here, you can edit it some more, changing the shape and adjusting the way it looks. Now, blender is not so easy to understand, especially if you don't have any experience. But if you want to learn this one, maybe you already know it, but if you want to learn, if you want to learn a new skill, if you have some passion for it, a good place to start is YouTube. After that, as you can see on Udemy, there's a lot of these. A lot of Blender courses. Yeah, they do cost a lot of money because after all, this is a skill that will last you for a lifetime and you can get a lot of money with it. But hey, if you just type this in the YouTube search bar, you will get a lot of things and you can learn. There's a lot of free knowledge out there. I recommend this one. This is the video that has a lot of views, as you can see, 1.2 million. And people really like this one. So this is like for totally, totally, well, as it says, absolute beginners. I'll leave this link right here and here as well. So you can go and learn. Now, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me in the comments, is this a get rich quick scheme? How much money I can get with this? Now, I got to tell you, this is not a get rich quick scheme and it'll never be. If you want to learn the skill, you got to invest your time and effort. And after that, even after you just complete these courses or whatever, you will have to practice, 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 practice. The more time you invest in this, well, the better you are going to be just like everything else, right? Now, let's get back to the AI program and try to generate another model. This time, I will use the image. You can create something in Leonardo. Just drop it here. For example, I'll use this little cheetah. Click on this button. So let's just put it to test. And by the way, since this pre-process image tab is checked, we do not have to remove the background of the object. So yeah, this is really convenient. Now, I gotta be honest with you. The generation time for this, well, it just takes way longer. These examples that are there, well, they already are pre-processed. So it just takes less time. But when you just put your own image, well, let's just say that it's going to take a while. But while we do that, I want to show you some ways in which you can monetize this skill later. The first thing that comes to my mind is Fiverr.com. Just search for 3D models. There's a lot of people who are doing this. For example, this person already has like over 600 sales. Or maybe this person, over a thousand sales already. And as you can see, this simple model is going to cost you $40. You can make the Fiverr gig in which you will generate these models from images that people send you. 
So for example, customer sends you an image of his cat or whatever, and you create the model. That's going to be really good. I don't think that any of these people offer that. I just went and I just searched for it, but I haven't seen anyone doing this. So you can be one of the first. Also, there's not a lot of competition in 3D models. And one more website that you can just utilize is CG Trader. CG Trader has a lot of 3D models for sale, and you can, of course, sell a lot of these. For example, as you can see, animals, aircraft, interior, cars. This is what people use when they later have a 3D printing machine. They buy these models, they just get these files, and they just put that into the machine. Of course, a lot of people are making money that way as well. But you can be the modeler. Also, there's a lot of things on Etsy as well. People are selling these as well, so you can do it. But hey, let's get back to see the result. Here's my little cheetah. As you can see, it's really good. It's really, really good. This refined one, well, it's just perfect. It has a lot of detail, even these dots, and even his face is really good for me. Let's download this one, and let's delete this girl, and let's just import this new one. Remember, import, and then you go here to GLB. And here it is. So, it's really good. A little bit of these rough edges, as you can see, but nothing that can't be taken care of. Now, I tried with a lot of pictures, and I did a lot of testing with this one, and I made a lot of mistakes. But here's what I found. The actual input image has to be 3D as well. So, if you give it 2D image, it's not going to be so good. The result is, well, it's just not going to understand. But if you put in the 3D image, for example, I made this now in Leonardo. So, if it has 3D as an input image, it's going to be way better. It's going to be easier. And since very few people are aware of these AI advancements, you can use this to your benefit. As I've told you, you can offer Fiverr Gig in which you will create the 3D models out of images that people send to you. But as I've told you, the best result is going to be if they send you the 3D image or the real image, like a photograph. So, actually, it is up to you now. Go and play with this. Invest a lot of time. And if you're interested in this, it's a good skill to have. Even Blender itself, it's got a lot of money-making opportunity. Have a look at this. There are only 4,200 services available on Fiverr. So, this means there's not a lot of competition. All these people are making huge income. And, of course, this will cut down the time for you. And here's the result for our Mickey Mouse. It's really good, even this rough one, stage one. And this refined one, well, it's just good. Go and play with it. Remember, you gotta work on it. I wish you good luck, and I'll catch you next time. Show you how you can edit and use the same model in a 